What was that? I hope this is it because there ain't no turning back. Yeah, I agree. These parts, once they're welded, they are mated for life. That's it. What's up, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And today on Cars and Cameras, we are back working on our Bronco four-wheel drive Power Wheels go-kart. And man, we are getting close. It does not look very close, but trust me, it is. As soon as we get in our parts from GoPowerSports.com, we'll be able to install our new wheels and tires, uh, steering wheel, and other odds and ends uh, that'll really whip this thing into shape. But until then, we have plenty of things to work on, like we need to mount our engine and torque converter and come up with a jack shaft to send the chain away from our feet uh, from the engine to our center section here. We need to install a brake, which should be pretty straightforward. We need to install gas and brake pedals. And I mean, then we just need to figure out an exhaust, right? And mount the body. And we are not that far. I mean, a stack, dude. A stack, cool. <laughs> so we're gonna start by installing the engine, getting it kind of mocked up. It's gonna be fun to get nuts in there, man. Oh, we need to uh, we need to raise the engine, don't we? Yeah, we gotta. Um... Forgot all about that. Never. And just like that, we have engine spacers. We got our four engine bolts installed. It's kind of a job with everything going on right underneath the engine. We're toying around with uh, installing the spring here to act as just a little bit more uh, cush for when we go off jumps, but I guess we'll have to jump it first and find out. So now that our engine and spacers are installed, we can start to figure out what to do with the chain after it goes from the torque converter. So we're kind of spitballing here but it'd probably be the, in our best interest to find a shaft that goes through the back of the torque converter. We believe it's 5 8 in diameter. Put a bearing hanger here and put another one on the outside of the chassis and then mount a sprocket right here. That way we can go directly from here to um, this sprocket down here. We don't have to worry about another jack shaft. Well, it, or it kind of is a we just got to make sure it clears our feet. Yeah, right? exactly. That's the most important thing. Oh, yeah, we got to trim more stuff. Man, this is a tight... You got some big feet, buddy. Tight feet. Fit. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, dude, I got some battleships here. You're probably going to fit in this pretty good. I'll only be able to take little short little trips on it. Yeah. Airmail. So we made a run to the store to grab a 5 8 bolt, which we are using to replace the factory torque converter rear pulley stud with. We don't recommend you do that. We're going to be testing the uh, integrity of the Go Power Sports aluminum torque converter backing plate because we are moving the sprocket um, to the outside of the pulley, which is highly not recommended. Uh, in the future, we're, we're going to set it up like this just to get it to put around. Uh, we did it so it's nice and out of the way of our feet, but in the future, we're going to brace it up. Uh, we're going to add another pillow block, uh, another bearing. Um, we may even have to make our own steel backing plate because, well, it's a high horsepower application. Of course, we're going to be adding a chain guard as well. So that's what we have. We need to grind a keyway in our bolt, but for now, it's mocked up. It'll work. Uh, we're going to move on to steering. Now we're going to be using uh, some more components from GoPowerSports.com, like their steering wheel. We're going to be using some of their steering tie rod linkage, which I love. We use it for everything like linkage related. You can find those parts and all the other ones we used in this build from GoPowerSports at links in the description of this video, including the 24 horsepower tilts and 228 engine, the juggernaut torque converter driver, the 30 series torque converter, and more. Uh, anytime you place an order at GoPowerSports website, let them know that Cars and Cameras sent you.
got to figure out where Ike got off to to see what he's doing for steering. So we're bending the, let's just call it the dash. Uh, it's just the bar joining the two sides of the frame together, giving us a place for the steering wheel to mount. Um, I just want a couple of gentle bends in it to kind of let it poke out a little bit. So uh, Sounds like a plan. Yeah, using the old uh, Rogue Fab. I finished up our custom bolt with a keyway in it that goes in the end of the torque converter that allows us to mount a sprocket to the outside of the torque converter. Again, not recommended, but we're just gonna see what happens. I have two nuts on there until we can go out and find a, a, a nylon locking nut. Uh, also, the majority of the frame is welded up, so I'm handing things over to Ike, and he is going to begin the very uh, tricky process, tedious process of welding our front axle assembly together. What was that? I hope this is it because there ain't no turning back. Yeah, I agree. These parts, once they're welded, they are mated for life. That's it. Yeah, I'm just gonna send it. Dang it, Bobby. What, Bobby? It's got, it can't come apart anymore. Oh. Somebody has sent it. I thought you were saying you messed up. So our center section is fully welded up. We are just doing some finishing touches on the welding on the chassis, adding a few more braces, welding up our hubs as well, and then we're going to reinstall it. Almost the entire front end is welded up and ready to be reassembled for the first time. We had to completely weld up the hubs and trim them a little bit just to give a little bit more clearance for our hind joints. Our control arms are all welded up. We are slightly repositioning the mounts for our shocks. We're moving them outboard on the control arms, just about a quarter inch, just to stiffen them up just a little bit. We've reinforced them. Like I mentioned, everything else is welded and uh, just gonna throw it back together for hopefully the last time. I have a quick announcement to make everybody. We are giving away a Low Rascal mini bike kit from gopowersports.com and $300 cash. So if you wanna enter, go to our website, cars-cameras.com and pick up any of our merchandise and you will be automatically entered to win. So our Send It, Bend It hat, for example, our classic It'll Be Fine black tee, any of our stickers, any of our hoodies, 
all of those will get you automatically entered to win one of our favorite new mini bikes on the market in $300 cash. We're gonna select the winner on January 2nd, 2021, and we will reach out to the winner and you'll get to choose what wheels and tires you want, what kind of seat you want, and the handlebar grips as well. So now's the perfect opportunity to pick up a Christmas gift for a friend or loved one, uh, get yourself some high quality merchandise, and get entered to win an awesome mini bike at the same time. So good luck everybody, and thanks for all your support. Uh, clearance is really tight in there, but it all seems to work so far together. It's just a matter of Will it go? <laughs> stuck finger. My finger, yeah, my knuckle got stuck in there. Check it out. We have our nuts on our CV axles. So when I spin this, it'll spin the whole assembly. Am I allowed to spin it? Is that cool? Uh, the chain's loose, but go ahead. Okay, cool. Um, very cool. Very cool. There's a little bit of self-clearing that has to happen, honestly. But look how tight that is between the steering, the front wheel drive assembly, and the chains, and the chain tensioners. And the frame. Yeah, in the frame. It is very tight, but I mean, it's looking good. Now I just need to tighten that chain up with our two tensioners in there, and that'll be one less thing to do. There it is. Self clear. <laughs> That's our uh, master link. Master link is introducing itself to the frame. To that point right there. And it'll it'll clear. It'll clear. We might go through a couple dozen half a uh, couple dozen chain links, but it'll be okay. It'll clear. All right, dude. So chain is pretty tight. All we got to do is run that chain to there. Yep. And put the engine on it and run the chain to here. Yes, indeed. So we're still waiting on a on a new axle from Go Power Sports. So we're going to wait on the rear, but we can put it down and stick the engine on it. Yep. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and do that. All right, dude. We thought it'd be a good time to go ahead and make the body fit better. It's always just kind of halfway placed up there, but now we're going to make some more trims to it to make it really sit on the chassis as it should. I think the body's about 90% fit from where it'll be when it's completely done. Of course, we can't completely do it until all the finishing touches are finished up on this project. Like the engine is finally mounted. We have the correct rear axle underneath it, um, so on and so forth. But in today's episode, we welded up our front axle, which was a big thing. We bolted our, uh, our CV axles together, so we finally have uh, our completed front wheel drive assembly, uh, complete with a chain. We mounted our engine. We figured out how we're gonna bring the power from the torque converter to our center section. A Lot of big items checked off the list. A Lot of welding. A Lot of welding. Not saying we're completely out of the woods with this project, but the, the light at the end of the tunnel is getting bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if you enjoyed today's episode, uh, leave us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. Uh, we are still waiting on some parts from Go Power Sports, but as soon as they come in, we will uh, continue working on this thing because, man, I am excited to jump it because, you know, we're going to do that. Steering, seating position, and controls are the biggest things left on this project, but we're really getting close, guys. So thanks for watching. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check Ike out on YouTube and Instagram at Isaac. It'll be fine. Don't forget to head to GoPowerSports.com for all your mini bike, go-kart, and custom buggy needs, and let them know that Cars and Cameras sent you at checkout. 
So once again, thank you for watching. We will catch you next time. How you doing this afternoon, bud? I, I think I messed up. How's that? Took a little bit of a nap during lunch. And it's one of those you feel worse. Yeah. When you wake up than yeah. when you went to sleep. Yeah, I hear that. It is what it is, man. Pretty excited that we're getting back on the uh, Bronco. Oh, I cannot wait to ride the Bronco. Yep. Hopefully it don't buck you off. Right? <laughs> <laughs>